what is it called? 4-H camp, my very last year in 4-H camp. And that was actually a really cool experience. I made really good friends, but us being stupid and like in like, what was it, sixth or seventh grade, mm, we fifth. did fifth grade? I think so. Maybe, yeah, I was like summer going into sixth grade. We didn't get each other's numbers, so I wasn't able to contact them. But like, that was the first time I ever went, what was it, canoeing? Mm-hmm. When we went to the lake, um, the first time I did a lot of stuff was there. Like our camp songs we had to make. That was super fun. Um, I was a counselor that year, which that was the first year I could be a counselor and your last year to be a part of it. Yeah. So I never went to um, 4-H camp, which I think I regret at this point just because I, um, I was insecure and shy as a kid. So it took me quite a quite a while before I really started getting out of my shell and so I I was always like "Uh, no I'm not going there because I don't know anybody you can't make me go parents and so I would never go to 4-H camp so I feel like that was one of the reasons why you went was because I was there that was probably the only reason I went yeah and I had a couple friends that was going that year and they like begged me to go yeah definitely so it wasn't bad um I was a I was a far part of the fishing project, or project, fishing activity. Mm-hmm. I think we caught two fish. Yeah, it was That was bad. it. Um, so that didn't go the best. But I know you had a run-in with some other wildlife while you were there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so they there's like, what, four or five cabins there? A lot more than that. Were they all full, though? Mm, I don't think all of them. But, like, anyway, our group, obviously, they do it, like, girls in one, boys in the other. So we had no – there was only two people in my cabin that were from my county. And everybody else, all the other girls in there were from different counties. None of the counselors were from my county. And, by the way, those counselors were drama. We heard everything about everyone, like – all of their problems as, like, a 10-year-old. Um, but anyway, so one night we all went to bed, and one of the counselors slept by the door to the cabin. Like, that's because there were all, like, lines of bunk beds, okay? And she was like, oh, my gosh, guys, I heard something. And lights out, lights were out by, like, 9, Probably 10, 10 maybe. Max. So we're all supposed to be asleep, and they start freaking out, and they're like, oh, my gosh, I hear something. Someone's coming. Like, they're at the door. So then all of our counselors started freaking out. And you have, like, 12, 10-year-old girls in there. So, of course, everybody's laying in bed like, oh, my gosh, someone's trying to kidnap us. Like, what's going on? Oh, my God, we're going to die. And I was the only one that was not freaking out. I was almost asleep. I was like, I don't care. And they end up, like, everybody got out of their bed, standing by the door, and it ended up being a freaking rat raccoon they were freaking out and then the raccoon wouldn't leave our door and was like scratching at the door and they're like it's gonna get in it's gonna get in it's gonna get our stuff like they were freaking out and I was laying in bed I was the only one that didn't get out of my bed didn't even sit up and I was like okay guys it's a raccoon let's go to bed they were up trying to get this raccoon away from the door by like screaming I guess for like 30 minutes it was a little much our counselors were very dramatic it was a bunch of high school girls, <laughs> and all I remember hearing is, like, boy drama and stuff about they thought kids were stealing their tampons out of their bags because they were open and, like, looking through their stuff, and then people from our county were in part or were in charge of recreation, and counselors are not allowed to have your phone at all during camp, and mm. two of our people were a couple, and they were in charge of recreation, they were doing music, so they both kept their phone, and all the other counselors were mad, and one of the counselors was a boy, and he was cute, and all the other ones were like, oh, he's hot. And it was a little much to hear. He's, like en- a- he's engaged now to that same girl. They just got married. They're married, yeah. Yeah. So happy happy marriage. Yay! Woo! So it was a lot, but it was really fun. Like, the raccoon thing was a little much. B- especially being a wood- in a woods, I figured people would know that there's animals out there, but. Yeah. What would you say was your fondest memory in 4-H? From camp? 4-H. 
Oh my lord, there's a lot of years or, to your, think your, about. Your best memory. Yeah, there is a lot. That is a hard, hard question. Pro- I mean, you're probably not going to remember. I obviously, lot, I don't but... remember. Yeah, I don't remember a lot. And like my last couple years in 4-H, obviously, because of COVID, it was kind of shit. Pretty much sucked. Um, but I would have. Yeah. I would mm-hmm. have to say when I. Obviously, to me personally, the best years in your 4-H is when you're younger. You get to experience more. Your parents aren't on you as much. So I ended up winning first year showmanship um, for swine, and I did not expect it because I was against a lot of really good showmen. Tipton is very competitive when it comes to showmanship. Very. In general, with pigs. And pigs. Like, most of our animals are super high quality, like... So I was shocked to be to have one showmanship and all these other people that like showed before and did like open shows because they had older siblings and like had a lot of money and we didn't. Um, that was probably the fondest memory because I was in utter shock and I I knew afterward it pissed a lot of people off that I won. Um, a lot of people I was showing against, I guess. Um, oh well. And. I ended up winning a show box along with it, and that was pretty cool. I would say that, and I, like, we had water balloon (laughs) fights in the barn. Like, camping was one of my favorites, like, camping Mm. all week and being able to stay there and hang out with friends and play cards and going to the tractor pull. Those are one of my fondest memories as well. I think that's my favorite part of 4-H. Yeah. Well, maybe not 4-H, but the fair. Yeah, it's a different. It's a whole particular. different experience when you're camping and when versus if you don't camp. Like if you don't get to experience that, I highly recommend if you're in 4-H to That's at least camp. Well, I know if you can to at least camp one year because it's super fun, especially when you're older and you can do more things and your parents are a little more more lenient on like where you're going and the times you're up or whatever. Our parents were still. F- fairly linear. oh yeah but like playing cards or just being Having outside and spend the nights yeah. and playing corn oh yeah i forgot we mm-hmm. when we were younger every year we always had one of our friends or our cousins spend the night the day before we brought in animals that was super fun you stay up uh-huh. late you wake up at like 4 a.m like yeah that was that yeah. was fun we probably didn't need to wake up that early but we did but also um, i feel like we did because it was a little much well that and because i feel like we were young kids and we were hard to wake up <laughs> for part of it uh, yeah but we could have we didn't have to be in there that early um i also i kind of like going in early because yeah, we were out we of the were way and early we were, we were like the first ones like there eight o'clock. yeah we were the first ones there and we could just so sit back and nap nap camper. or sit back and watch everybody unload yep that made it easy, but yeah, that was probably one of one of the favorite parts was that. That was something we did for like seven years. Yeah. Um roughly. But just camping in general, we've had people spend the night in the camper and had a bunch of memories staying up till like at least midnight almost every night, but still yeah. having to get up at like six thirty at least because our parents were mean and <laughs> made us feed early. Um and doing stuff like that and the tractor pulls and hanging out with friends and playing basketball and all sorts of stuff cornhole. along those lines, staying up and playing cornhole till midnight with people and yeah. everything else along those lines. So it's it's always fun for sure. I think yeah. that kind of stuff is is underrated, but it's a good time. 